Hi everyone. One of the smoothest expiries that to on a non-expiry day of a Wednesday ahead of holiday. Usually expiries on a Wednesday are more volatile as there are lesser days in which all the trades for the week are packed. Nifty again opened above 2700, consolidated a bit, fell a little but then kept on going up and up, nearly closing at the highest point of the day. The VIX collapsed to 11, probably the lowest I have seen in my recent memory, just ahead of the earnings season that to the annual cycle. Like I mentioned in yesterday's update also, the range right now is 22600 to 22800 for Nifty. It did not break today. Key action wise, Sensex closed above 75,000 for the first time. As per news article on money control, equity inflows reduced by 16% in March. This is primarily because of the action taken by SEBI, the stress test. A lot of money eventually moved out of small caps for now. People realize the danger as a result of the stress test. Today was a day of banking stocks. Most banks including PSUs were up a lot. Only one which was down was HDFC. Nifty, Bank Nifty, Nifty Next 50. All of them were looking really optimistic today. We'll talk more about it a little later. Indigo hit a lifetime high. It has actually been hitting a lifetime high nearly on all days for past six months. Today was special that it became number three airline in the world by market cap. Copper is shining globally. It is reflecting in India also. I talked about my trades in Hindustan Copper, GMDC yesterday. But note that this is not EV boom. This is mostly because some of the largest mines in copper right now are struggling with regulatory action. And there is pressure on the supply side. EV I said no because lithium actually has dropped 80% because of demand compression in China in the EV sales. So no, this is not EV boom. In fact, Tata Motors has just been upgraded today. But I would say tread with a little caution because a lot of optimism in Tata Motors is because of its EV play. Nifty up, Bank Nifty up, S&P and Nasdaq closed in the green yesterday. Yesterday, as I had predicted, FIAs had sold, DIAs had bought. Today also institutional data is not yet out. But today I would expect FIAs to have bought a lot looking at the green across Nifty, Bank Nifty and Nifty Next 50. DIs probably might have sold a bit or I would say they probably would have also bought only. We're heading into the earnings season. I don't think DIs are gonna sell right. Bright BTC again slightly lesser than 70,000. It is very volatile in the 65,000 to 75,000 range. A huge range but it is moving swiftly and a lot within this range. Gold has found a new support at 71,000 for now. No reds in the last five days for gold. Today I have replaced MCX crude with Brent like I had mentioned. The global sentiment reflects in Brent slightly less than 90, but this is a sweet spot where ethanol becomes commercially viable. Sugar stock shot up a little today also. Look at the charts of HDFC Bank. Last 10 days, only two red days, including today. TCS ahead of the results on Friday was green today. I'm working on a video for TCS results. I hope to release it later today or maybe in the morning tomorrow. Do watch the video. It will give you a preview and a different view on TCS results coming up on Friday. Reliance is struggling to cross 3000 decisively. It, it is stuck with 3000 as a resistance zone. ICIC is having the run of its life up for last five days. Let's check how the indices perform today. Nifty, Sea of Greens. Very little reds. Most of the stocks did fantastically well. Reliance was up 1%. TCS was up 1%. HDFC was down 0.8%. Bharti 2%. State Bank 2%. Maruti went through correction. It has been going up steadily for past quite some time. HDFC life, I haven't tracked the reason, but it was down. Volume wise, heavyweights were lesser than 100%. HUL had high volumes. Adani Enterprise had high volumes. Coal India went up a lot, nearly 4% on very high volumes. A lot of buying in Coal India today. It seems that because of the heat wave, there is a huge power demand and hence coal will become costly and volumes also will be on the higher side. That is why Coal India is already prepping up for that event. Hindalco, BPCL, Sipla, Britannia, all of them had extraordinary volumes. The biggest laggards away from 52 week high right now, HDFC, HUL, Kotak, Asian Paints, HDFC Life, which was down a lot today also. Let's jump to Bank Nifty. Nearly all green except HDFC Bank. SBI 2%, Kotak 2.5%, PNB 3%, IDFC 3%. Federal Bank had very high volumes, up 2% only. It is closing on to the 52-week high now, 5% away only. ICICI, SBI, PNB are at 52-week high. Overall, the index did very well. One of the best days for Bank Nifty today. Nifty next 50. Most of the stocks were 
in a very small range what was down cholamandalam investment shri cement info edge it was up a lot in the last couple of days muthoot finance pi industries png vedanta had another fantastic day up another 7% with very high volumes indigo i already mentioned was up a lot today 4.4% number 3 aviation company in the world now quick update on my trades today i was a no trade day for me i did try to sell gmdc but it opened nearly at the highest point of the day and it never came back closed 4% up but away from the highest point of the day persistent my trade is still open note this is a case of option selling i squared off the other position which was loss making persistent needs to be above 4000 on expiry day for this trade to be profitable i do expect that to happen all other trades are continuing to be open banks are doing reasonably well today so i thought maybe let me just try one more day most of these positions are into financials yesterday i incorrectly mentioned the us events for the date of 9th they are actually all happening today later today the fmc minutes will be published crude oil inventories will be released that will impact global oil prices the core cpi data is the one that the world is watching for i expect it to be slightly bad only tomorrow is a banking holiday in india friday is tcs results and india cpi data release the inflation data because of election season i'm expecting to be good only inflation will cool down that will be sentimentally good overall a calm day bears stayed out of the way of bulls today bulls had a steady day banks did well most of the stocks were at least up half percent one percent kinds probably bracing for a rally on friday and next week after the tcs results i think the us events later today and tcs results on friday will decide the course for about next two weeks or so how indian markets will pan out for sure have a good holiday tomorrow i'll see you with the updates again on friday